Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. In this historic High Court testimony, Prince Harry, among other celebrities, is seeking damages from Mirror Group newspapers. The claim alleges that journalists associated with these publications engaged in unethical practices such as foam hacking, deception, and the use of private investigators for unlawful activities. During the cross-examination that lasted nearly eight hours, Prince Harry made some powerful statements. He accused former Mirror editor Piers Morgan of subjecting him to horrific personal attacks and intimidation. Additionally, he suggested that newspaper stories claiming his father had a relationship with Princess Diana were aimed at ousting him from the royal family. As the questioning continued, Prince Harry defended the absence of call data between himself and MG and journalists. He speculated that they might have used burner phones to access his voicemails, indicating potential attempts to cover their tracks. Interestingly, Prince Harry chose to remain in court as the Mirror's former royal editor, Jane Kerr, faced cross-examination by his own lawyer. This decision demonstrates his commitment to seeking justice and uncovering the truth behind the alleged wrongdoing. This testimony sheds light on the immense strain of media intrusion that Prince Harry and Meghan have experienced. It serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of protecting one's privacy and personal boundaries, even for public figures. The phone hacking case not only affects Prince Harry and Meghan personally, but also raises broader questions about journalistic ethics and accountability. It calls for a reflection on the responsibility of media organizations to uphold integrity and respect the privacy of individuals. Prince Harry's emotional display during the testimony highlights the toll that media intrusion can take on a person's mental and emotional well-being. It is a powerful reminder that behind the public personas and headlines, there are real individuals who deserve compassion and empathy. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.